This video is an introduction to the battle that changed humanity forever. These days I often find myself thinking where is the world heading to? Or where and when did things go wrong? And what mistakes in the past led to this? So I then ask myself which event in all recorded history has been the most impactful in getting us to where we are now? And then I think of battles where the fates of many people were decided by the outcome of one single event. For instance, D-Day and the successful landing of the Allied troops in Normandy leading to the demise of Nazi Germany. Other times I think some scientific or technological breakthroughs have been more impactful, like when the World Wide Web was launched for the first time. Then I wonder about the people who came before the internet and were untouched by it, yet lived normal lives. So, the effect of past events on each of us vary, but what if I told you that there was one event in history that has impacted all lives immensely and almost equally? Now, most of you may doubt this, but my claim does not end there. I would like to go on to say that if this event in history had a different outcome, we would not be facing many of our current global issues, like terrorism, global warming, and even the recent financial crises. Now, this event will sound very obscure at first to most of you, so I need to set things right for you to be able to understand why a long forgotten battle called Sefin is impacting us so much today. In 657 AD, two sides faced off in Syria, who both had claim to the mantle of leadership of Islam. This is 25 years after the passing of the Prophet of Islam. During this time, the Muslim world was transforming itself rapidly, both by expanding its territories at the expense of its two neighboring empires and by the large number of new converts these lands would bring with their new cultures and ideologies. 25 years ago, most Muslims had lived with or seen Muhammad, but at the time of Safin, most of the Muslims had not even visited Mecca or Medina once in their lifetime. What they would believe to be Islam will be directly coming from whoever grabs hold of power in Safin. And remember, we are talking about a religion which at our time is still the most rapidly growing faith covering almost a quarter of the earth's population. It was at this point in time when a great sectarian divide was beginning to form. A divide which to this day is a significant contributor to many of the issues of the Muslim world. One of which is the rise of Islamic extremism. This battle is regarded as the first fitna by historians. Fitna refers to the Islamic civil wars and historians normally talk of four such events. At Safin, two very contrasting characters faced off. One is agreed by all Muslims to be the first man to accept the message of Muhammad, the Prophet of Islam. The other was the first to establish a dynasty to rule the Muslim world and who forever changed the issue of leadership in Islam from one that concerned depth of character and strength of faith to one of kingship. In our age, leadership is a palpable issue. The recent dissatisfaction with conventional political systems has led to the rise of populist movements all over the world. Today, when the thirst for good leadership is more than ever unquenchable, I invite you to join us to look to the past, to a time when the battle for the leadership of Islam was fiercely contested, and to an era which, like today, propaganda would twist the will of people and cast fog on their minds. We will start by talking about each side of this battle separately and how they came to face each other in Safin. We then will review the battle itself and how it ended. We would be keen to hear your opinions, so feel free to leave a comment below and stay tuned for our next video.